Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here. You know, don't you? You know. Can you feel that? That's raging, that, isn't it? That's rage. You know, do you, you, you ever watch boxing interviews on social media? And feel the rage, can you feel it? Coming up your body. I've just seen an interview there with Tony Bellew, AKA Anthony Bellew, the disappearing man. Going on about drug cheats in boxing, how he wants them stoned and, and banned for life and thrown in jail and because it's attempt murder. He talks utter. That's what he talks. Tony Bellew has just done a pundit job for Sky. Dylan White against Povetkin. Convicted drug cheats, both serve bans. But Tony Bellew is happy to take the money from Sky and to be pran prancing about thinking he's a big star and that, the disappearing man. But yet he wants drug cheats. He wants drug cheats stoned in and thrown in jail for attempt murder and never to be let in the sport again. But he's happy to take money from Sky. He's happy to do that. <laughs> it's unbelievable, isn't it? It's a bit like when Bellew and Paul Smith were going on about how they hate the Sun newspaper and they don't have anything to do with it. But yeah, I put a picture up when I were on Twitter a few years back of Tony Bellew and Paul Smith on a Frank Warren undercard that was sponsored by the Sun. These people have their own agendas, right? They'll say one thing and then you'll grease the palm with silver and then they'll say another. They'll pump you full of lead behind your back and then they'll, gre then they'll grease your palm with silver. And that's just what happens. So, I'll just turn the volume down on this because it's, otherwise it's just going to do my head in all day. But now, Anthony Bellew, a.k.a. the disappearing man, Mr. Vacant Belt, Hmm. He wants drug cheats stoning, thrown into the stock so we can all stone them in village, middle of village, throw fruit at them like, see, like, like they used to do in the 16th century in, in Armley in Leeds. That's what they used to do outside prison, or is it 17th century? They used to throw fruit at them, didn't they? Put them in the stocks and throw fruit at them. But Anthony Bellew wants to throw house bricks at them. But he's happy to take money off Sky for that. I mean. If you're a friend of Anthony Bellews and you've passed a drug test, you're innocent. But if you're not matchroom, you're guilty and you need hanging like Jarrell Miller. Fair enough, Jarrell Miller's cheated, but is he the only one? We've got to have a level playing field, but this fake news is now out of control. It's, it's, it's like Johnny Nelson's video that he's done going on about Povetkin's lucky punch. Well, if it were a lucky punch, who would he throw it punch at? Because... If there's a melee in a nightclub and I'm fighting with Fred Bloggs and Joe Blow punt and, and Fred Bloggs throws a punch at me and it misses me and it's somebody else, it's Joe Blow, that's a lucky punch because I've slipped it, Anna, and is it Joe Blow? But Povetkin's in a fight with Dylan White and he's knocked him out, but he's fighting Dylan White, isn't it? So it's not a lucky punch. You were looking for that punch all night. But the bias is out of control, isn't it? It's like the judging. I didn't give Dylan White the first four rounds. I give him the fourth, but the first three rounds were very competitive. And Povetkin were working on stuff, wasn't he? And like you said, experience cost him. But I don't want to hear all this about experience and lucky punch and Dylan White's a novice and he's learning on the job. Don't tell me about learning on the job. He's had five pay-per-views. <coughs> You're selling him as a f mandatory a thousand days. He's had 29 professional fights. Five pay-per-views. Learning on the job. We had all this with Anthony Joshua. It's recycled rubbish. What are they going to do now? They're going to try and sell you Povetkin against Dylan White as this big event. That's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do like they did the Saudi thing. It's recycled rubbish. That's all it is. They need to start fighting somebody. These, ma this match, these matchroom lot. Because it's becoming embarrassing. So yes, Tony Bellew, when you're going to criticise drug cheats, 
criticise everybody who's failed the test. Not just the people who are not matchroom. All right, Tony Bell, you biggest rimmer at matchroom. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Don't have nightmares.